What's up, everybody? We are streaming live here in Oldsmar, man. The storms are uh, inching close. Checking out all of our streams here. We're looking pretty good. I don't know how strong it's going to be, but the line is right at our doorstep here. So I'm kind of doing this as a test. But we're going to drive into it. They're setting up a... Uh, festival here so i'm looking right at a ferris wheel so i'm really curious um let's see how the thing's gonna hold up in the wind let's see here try that turn the camera ah. trying to go live on the uh, TikTok here. Let's see. This is Oh, come on. What the hell's going on here? Stupid thing. There we go. Flip the camera. Oh, boy. Oh. Come on. Flip. How do you flip? There we go. Flip. Flip. All right. There we go. All right, so we're streaming. All right, let's drive around a little bit. So the radar I'm looking at right there below me is where we're at. And we got the tornado watch just to our north. Getting all kinds of warnings and watches here. Let's see if my location's working. For some reason, my location never wants to work. Oh, there it came, it came in. There we go. Cool. Well, there you go. That's the uh, line, man. It's right on the Tarpon Springs. Palm Harbor's doorstep here. I'm looking at where we might get the worst winds. Um, starting to get a few drops of rain here. Usually don't get white caps out here on the uh, bay, that's for sure. They're getting getting a bunch. Let's kind of point it that way right now. Might get a good squall right here actually coming in. The um, oh, well, we got a stop sign out here blowing. <laughs> Let me see. We actually we have the classic stop sign up here going bonkers. Check this out. We were now we don't. I'd like to point this thing right at the damn uh. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> Always love the stop signs when they they um they move. That's like the classic classic guaranteed make the news uh, right here. Look, I'm gonna zoom in right on it. Look, <laughs> that's the uh, that's the classic um, you always see on the news, right? All right, so we're just going to drive around. I don't think it's going to be that bad where I'm at. Just to our north, it's pretty healthy. There's all kinds of watches and warnings going on right now, currently. Oh, there's that house. This poor house up here got hit with a tornado. Uh, we covered it. Remember I had my drone footage? Oh, my God. He still haven't fixed it yet. Oh, that's terrible. So this house was hit by a tornado back in December. You can see it. And uh, I have a feeling they must have vacated. But it got all tore up, man. They had all kinds of damage. I'm sad. A couple houses got tore up, actually. There's about four houses here that were hit hard from a tornado back in December. Coming in off the bay here. That's kind of why I wanted to hang out here. Because it seems like what I've been learning... <laughs> It seems like you almost just need to let the storms come to you anymore. So I'm in Tampa, Florida. There's really nothing going on. I'm sorry. I, I knew it wasn't going to be too exciting by me. I had to do a uh, couple things this morning on radio and Tom and Dan show. And I didn't want to take off and drive north to miss out on that. So 
this is kind of a test for um oh we got some water surge coming in check this out whoa that's pretty awesome oh man that's crazy looking look at this can't get over there well i might be able to get over there so we're get. i knew we were going to get some surge i probably should have went down to st pete because now we're getting water flying in here I could probably still make it down there, but this is a uh, this is water surging in here in Oldsmar. Look at that! Isn't that crazy looking? Kind of see it. I might make a little video right there. Let me um go back here and see if I can. I can't get my truck there. Damn it! I thought we'd get some surge actually up here. So Oldsmar is at the top of the bay. And that's where all the water gets pushed in. Um, we're really starting to see the water push in. That's one thing about surge that I've learned, man. It comes when it comes in, it comes in like quick. Like there's a spot over here in Oldsmar that we get a lot of surge. Let me go over here and take a look. Here's a stop sign again for all you stop sign lovers. There you go. Classic stop sign. <laughs> so we're in Oldsmar. This is my hometown. Just kind of waiting on the squall line to come in. And then we're going to decide if I want to go chase any, anywhere else. We got a big carnival up here. I've been talking a lot on my daily brew. We got a, uh, them setting up right now. I'm really curious what the Ferris wheel is going to do here. Um, that's the uh, Ferris wheel. Um, it's starting to spin a little bit on its own. This is really a test. I, I moved my main camera to a different angle, hoping to not get any glare, which so far so good. I have a new um, radar fixation point here. This is a good shot right there. This is working. Let me see over here. We'll start to see if we get any water pumping into the from the bay over here. So I shared the St. Petersburg surge for around one o'clock, one to two o'clock. Looked like they they were going to have a possibility of getting some water coming in. Um, and I have radar streaming below me. To kind of get an idea where I'm at. So all this area right here sometimes gets water. We'll have to see here. Getting any close to the docks are actually looking a little bit uh, interesting. But this 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 is uh, my hometown, and they unfortunately at the top of the bay, and they do get a lot of surge right here. And it's getting kind of tall actually. It's crusting a little bit. We'll get a good spot to ride the storm out up here. Actually, I think I'm going to go to, um, there's a little park down here. Might get a good view. We might be able to park right on the water and see this squall line coming in. This squall line is definitely uh, getting very close to Palm Harbor right now. Well, if you live in um, Pasco right now, you're definitely getting uh, Newport Richie area get really um, hit pretty hard. Strong, strong line uh, fixing to get into Clearwater Palm Harbor right now. I 
All right, so there's a little park down here. We're going to park here and just watch, watch this line come in. Try to get a good spot right on the right on the water here. We'll see what kind of action we get. So I should record my stream in case we get a little spin up tornado or something. All right, this, this is my little secret spot here. Let's see if we park close to the water here. Uh, watch. Oh, there's a line right there coming. Oh, this is badass right here. Look at these waves coming in. This is top of the bay stuff right here now. Look at this. Let's get in there. Let's see if I can show you that. I right, will just park it right here for now. There you go. And kind of see what's going on. All right, well, we're going to wait it out and get an idea what kind of inland effects we get, and we'll decide if we're going to chase it or not. There actually looks like a little spin-up near Palm Harbor right now. These little tornadoes are quick. Just in Florida, these type of squall line tornadoes are very, very isolated. They spin up. It's usually short duration. But, you know, EF0, EF1, there's, you know, the Jasmine Estates right now. Newport Ritchie looks like there's a little bit of spin-up happening. We're going to have a heavy line in Dunedin really, really quick. we got all kinds of watches and warnings going on currently in um, north of me. Fifty-one mile hour wind just got reported from St. Pete Airport. Possibly some small hail. So, good thing about this wind. Hopefully, it'll uh, knock the pollen down. Let's hope. <laughs> So we don't usually get waves here in the top of the bay. That's pretty crazy, actually. Um, but you can see that line of rain. It's fixing to hit me hard here. We'll see, we'll go back down to where that surge is at. This is kind of where the frontal line is. Let's see if we get any sort of rotation. Could be a little something trying to get going between Palm Harbor and Dunedin. Going to be a big wind gust regardless if you live in Dunedin, Palm Harbor. Knock that pollen out of the trees. <laughs> I think we're all tired of the pollen. Oh, man, here comes rain. It's going to be hard to see. So I should have an outside. I'm testing my outside microphone, too. It looks like it's working. But I wish I had a boost on that outside mic. Uh, that's good though, bad. Hopefully you're getting a little bit of outside noise. There is a decibel. Okay. I can outside mic it up. But if I got it all the way up or not. Increase the decibels here. Increase the power. That looks good. So when I'm driving, I wonder why I can't do the volume. It's getting some outside noise. Oh yeah, there's a boost on the outside mic, so I got it at 200% right now. So hopefully you get some wind. I do go in hurricanes. I know this is extremely boring, but uh, I have been in. Four major hurricanes on my truck here, and uh, we definitely hit all the storms when they're around. This is definitely nothing too exciting where I live. However, you just never know. But 
Oh, here comes the wind now. <laughs> well I try to go live on TikTok but guess what they that's a little be no on TikTok that's twice now someone said if you turn the camera around you could um you'd be okay but nope nope that didn't work too good so alright See, it was a good test. All right, so wait on that mad big old squall on. It's inching its way in here. You can see it on the radar. Let me zoom in on a little bit here where we're at. At least we can see if kind of see where I'm at. You can get the, there's a little dot. That's where I'm at right here. I can make that bigger. Nope. So there's my dot. What I can make that dot bigger? No. Well, that's where I'm at, right there. See, that's where we're at, right here. Let me put it right in the middle of the screen. There. Right there is where we're at. And I'm patiently waiting on this big line here. That's a pretty healthy cell in Palm Harbor. Right there. And no rotation with it. We'll be all kinds of marine warnings, special... Weather statements. Leave it right there. There we go. Cool. And that is live um, data on the webcam. We got uh, 1,009 millibar. Back when we were checking that December low, it was down to 998. Lower the pressure usually means more of the wind. Fix the camera, it looks pretty awful right here. I'm gonna see if I can figure out why it's so white looking. Because <laughs> it's zoomed in too much, maybe you really get to see the steering wheel. That's a pretty boring shot, but anyway. That's all you need to see of me. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, you can kind of see the um, this camera's working good. I'm really happy with it. The uh, real test is going to be at night. And you can see those clouds whipping in toward me. Definitely got a strong line of storms into Palm Harbor right now. No doubt about it. That is a big line. Oldsmar is going to get hit hard here in a second. Or uh, this north to my north. I'm going to wait right here in the water to see if we have anything come across the water here. Well, I guess we'll just leave it right here. We got some trees and So we can do a test here. Let me see if I can stream on my brew crew here. This was a test, by the way. It was only a test. All right, we're going to try to stream Lee live on um, the uh, brew crew here. Oh, there's the sheriff going by. Um, let's see. Some doll cookies. 
Let me log in. We so we have a private um chat for subscribers. Let me see if um we can stream live on there. Be a good little test. All right, cool. Let's go to Brew Crew. Hit create. Let's go to live. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn this on before the live. That's what we have to do at home. Okay. Mm, maybe. Nah. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, hey, look. Jeez, oh, all right. Live. That's going to work. Storm chasing. Five storm. Jason, Florida. Sorry. Sorry about that, Mr. Officer. You're listening. <laughs> it's kind of blocking the road. All right. Live storm chasing. All right. It's still, the line still isn't here yet. So we're, um, Cool, but it's streaming. Let's see. It's gonna be right there. All right. So what's everybody doing? I can't read comments when I stream, but I'm here. No special weather statements, really. Hey, look at that! People just popped in. What's up, Mr. Eric? Hey, how about that? I'm streaming live, man. I just decided to try it. Jody, hello. Isn't that pretty cool? The notifications. You got to love the notifications. Really not too much going on. I'm still waiting on our big line of um, storms here. Oh, hey, Dale, you said the waves of Howard Franklin over the seawall. That might be kind of cool. You know what? Maybe I should drive down there. I think we need to drive. I think I need to drive. I think sitting here is kind of silly. All right, let's, we're going to head down that way. All my gut's telling me that that's where we should be. All right, we'll get... Oh, now the wind's really picking up. I do want to do one little quick video of... Um, that surge coming in real quick and then we'll hit the road and head south a little bit i get my seatbelt on here All right, man, it has not gotten here yet, but it looks gnarly. Definitely on the camera. <laughs> you can see those trees really moving, man. This is, uh, this is pretty good stuff. Um, I guess I could turn my radio on, too. I have a no weather radio. I should have had this on to begin with. Let's turn it off. There we go. There we go. Now let's this remains an important for five damp daylight time for the following out or going to one dotted at the likely to be cool. <laughs> That's the MWP. Oh, look at those clouds. Whoa. 
Whoa, man, that is crazy looking coming in. Oh, we got to get a video of that. All right, we got to get up here to the park. You won't believe this. Holy crap, you got to see this line. Oh, man, I can almost fly my drone into this, man. If we really don't have any rain right now. All right, there's crap flying in the road now, trees. So he says he's got a big bow of storms going through there right now. Definitely. Oh, man, it looks... We're trying to get a tornado, folks. Um, Just north of me here. Oh, yeah. Right to Oldsmar. Imagine that. Right by my house. Oh, God. Look at this. Traps flying. Oh, man. That's right on my doorstep. We might be right here in it. Look at this. I get a good shot. Look at the crap from right now. Look at this. Let me get a good get a good view here. This is where it's coming in. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a little closer. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I gotta get a video of that. Hang with me. Oh my god, let me Look at those clouds coming in. That's the line. Severe thunderstorm warning just got posted on that cell I was talking about just north of me. Literally, like right here. Ah, oh, it's going to get windy here real quick. Sideways, man. I got to get a screenshot because if, if we do get a tornado, I'm right underneath it. Literally, like right underneath this cell, that looks like it could be a tornado warning any second. Man, literally, like, look, look, like where we're at, totally. I'm smack dab right there in the middle of the uh, strongest verticity right there. See it? So we were to get a little spin up. Some big rains here in a second. I gotta get this before they come. We got some good shots here of palm trees and rain. So all my phones just went off. Severe thunderstorm warnings.
So this is where we decide if we start chasing it or not. Go north, south, east, west. Well, we can't go west because there's water. <laughs> Monica, what's up? Glad glad you like it. Dale, what's up? I am in uh, Oldsmar, Florida. That's right, Shelly. I'm in uh, Veterans, Veterans Park. Kind of, let me give you a little different perspective here with the, um, kind of see the, uh, the daylight, make sure nobody's parked behind me. You can kind of see what's going on there with the, uh, the winds or the, okay, it's wild. All right, let's go see what that surge looks like now. We had surge coming up here in Oldsmar. I want to see if, how much more we got. Pay attention. We got a severe thunderstorm warning just to my north. Everybody's not driving around. What the heck's going on? So we're in Oldsmar, Florida. If you're just tuning in, this is my uh, hometown park. We did get a severe thunderstorm warning uh, currently for, for right smack dab over my house, literally. I knew it. They always come to me. I don't have to go to them. A little bit to my north here. They got some serious stuff. There's a bunch of junk in the road here. This we got surge coming up here a second ago. I gotta check that out, and then we'll um, wonder how the old Ferris wheel did. Ferris wheel's moving. I might have to film that. There's a Ferris wheel over here. Doing all right. Looks like maybe. video of that surge people it's always fascinating to see the water just pump, pumping in here right up here is uh, where the water atop the bay is coming in oh that's all man that's pretty but over there you can't really see it from Definitely um, surge coming in, so I can get a little video of that. Maybe. That's <laughs> my tail. Darn it. What are you driving around for? Jeez. Oh, now he's following me. Come on, man. Uh. I need to get back and do a little video of that surge. So we got severe thunderstorm warning in um, Pinellas County. School's letting out over here, so we're going to do a lift. Back in a little video of this uh, water coming in the bay. I'm going to follow this line of storms and see if anything gets any stronger here. I call this area right here is uh, usually gets all the water from the top of the bay. You can kind of see it surging in right now, big time. jump out and do a little video. I guess I could go underneath that little pile on it. Be, be my damn truck right here. Who's in care? Okay. I got blinky lights on. So this isn't really like a main sewer fair road. So, where's the bench at? 
All right, I'm going to do a little quick video real quick. Just to kind of show the water coming in. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm folding over here real quick. Do a little U-turn here. Here's that house again. I was telling everybody about that the tornado came up in December. I filmed this tornado back in the middle of the night. We got hit by an EF zero officially, but this poor house and a few others got hit really hard. We had a tornado come in off of the bay. And uh, it was pretty clear signature. So we'll try right here if I can zoom in on this maybe. If I can get one without leaving my truck, I don't feel like getting wet. Bench is always a good one. Good thing we didn't have high tide right now, but I had a good one too, man. I'm just freaking. All right, let's drive around a little bit. Let's see what we got. This main line isn't even here yet. This is all like head of a main line. around a bit so that cell that's got a severe thunderstorm warning is uh, heading um, fast to the east right now um, definitely gonna hit North Tampa south of Lutz there west of Chapel area it's coming your way seems sort of warning you got to kid me, man. There's, there's a guy in a bucket truck working on the lights. <laughs> I don't know if that's safe. There's a bucket. A bucket truck up here um, working on lights.
offering. It involves the gift tended by child. All times are negligent. Definitely going to be some street flooding. There's some serious rain coming down here. Somebody out there is probably saying this is lame. I agree. But I have been at four major hurricane eye walls. So I'm not, uh, it's just not like nothing new to me. Uh, this is just local hometown footage, uh, testing out some new stuff I got in my truck, lights, outside camera. Some uh, new lights. There's a couple of bows. Um, I wonder if we should head south. I think we're going to head south. We we'll have time to get over the bayside. That's a pretty hefty line right there. This to my south. You might be able to make the bayside. Maybe. I doubt. I don't know. So all you hurricane fans, tomorrow we get the official uh, updated outlook for 2024 from Colorado State University tomorrow. Um, that's always an interesting one. For sure. Kind of your official... Um, a pretty good line coming in the South St. Pete. Hasn't even got to St. Pete yet. I don't know why this light hasn't changed. I think I have a feeling it's because the guy's working. Mm. Well, 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 let's see here. We'll go south. This guy can make his mind up. Come on, dude. Go to the middle of the intersection. Oh, come on, buddy. What are you waiting on, man? I know there's a crossing guard, but you can still get over there. Oh, we got a new uh, warning coming out. Man, these poor crossing guards. Got a new warning here. Wind is blowing my damn truck around. Call for 50 mile an hour wind gusts. I believe it. Clearwater, Florida. I'm going south now. I want to go south a little bit. I want to um, try to catch the line. A little break. So I don't know if you're ready for the cold weather or not, but we have uh, 
40s uh, and 50s heading close to us here in middle Florida. We could see some 30s on Sunday morning in the Panhandle. Sprinkled around the uh, rural, 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 rural parts. <laughs> the south a little bit see what we got so anyway we saw some tree limbs down and trying to do this guy it's from a storm yeah I Trying to spot. I got my little uh, radar. Storm gear. It's charging right now. I keep a charger hooked up to it. Oh, let's see here. Rotation Fred Howard Beach, maybe. For the following coastal waters this guy in front of me didn't know what he's doing. <laughs> What's tomorrow, Jody? Cold weather? All right, so the line just kind of passed through Pinellas a little bit. There's actually a little break here. We're going to see if we can get out ahead of it. If red lights work in our favor. But if anything, you'll get to see some cool clouds as we get close to the edge, edge of the line. She's charging good now, so I can leave it back up here. Oh, hurricane forecast. Yes. You know it's going to be above average. You could almost bet money it's going to be above average. Here is your cloud structure. That's the uh, line coming through. We're going to run right into it. So we'll see some cool stuff here as we head south on the backside of this thing. If you're just tuning in, I'm in uh, Oldsmar, Clearwater, Florida. Just doing a little test here of our storm chasing gear. Just a squall line, nothing too serious. Um, big winds, though. Had a severe thunderstorm warning right on top of us. Got some cool video. I'm gonna need to post. I reckon here in a second. It came in pretty good. You get a pretty strong line down in St. Petersburg right now. Heavy rainfall, probably half an inch at least where I'm at in the last uh, 30 minutes.
So yeah, tomorrow's uh, big CSU outlook. I, I, I guarantee it's going to be above average prediction. Like maybe some of the highest numbers they've ever predicted in uh, April. I just have that feeling. It's going to be above average. And you know what happens next? Once the media gets a hold of that, uh, it becomes like hype central. <laughs> So tomorrow, you can guarantee every news headline, every news outlet is going to be talking about this uh, above average hurricane season forecast that's fixing to come out. It's tomorrow at a 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10 a.m. tomorrow, the official Colorado State University hurricane predictions are going to come out. My opinion is they will be above average, but that's just an opinion. Now we're fixing to get on the Bayside Bridge here. Emily asked me this morning, she said, do you think softball practice will get rained out? I'm like, yeah. I wouldn't even bring your clothes. <laughs> Worked out good for us this week, selfishly. We had a game last night, and then today, obviously, we're off. I do have my... Um, oh, look at that. Look at that temperature drop. Holy crap, it was 80 a minute ago. Now it's 67. You can tell the front line just came through. I'd love to get down there ahead of this thing, but man, I ain't making a dent with this traffic. Oh. We might break free. We might get in front of this thing. Hell, I might be able to make it all the way down the Skyway. Let's try to make it to the Skyway. We got to get through this traffic first. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. Vodka Dale. Vodka Dale, you're going to have to sign up. Kingbird. <laughs> Uh, we're going to get on a bridge here in a second. We might get some good views looking over towards Tampa. We're like literally right on the edge of this thing. We just need a couple red lights to go our way. A couple fun things happening in my area this weekend. The uh, city of Oldsmar is doing their Oldsmar days. It's a big deal. Car shows and music every night. There's a carnival. Free music, free admission. It's on uh, Ari Olds Park. They're doing hot wing contests and all kinds of fun stuff um i'll be leading the parade at 11 o'clock on saturday in the storm chaser i get to lead the parade um so i'm gonna have the girls ride in the back so if you're looking for something to do it's gonna be cool out it's gonna feel like a fall festival <laughs> you will have to wear clothes like warm clothes not only um clothes clothes but warm clothes too i will be wearing jeans it'll be in the 50s on friday night and saturday night they're fixing the past uh eddie seymour here oh man i just made it guy riding my butt. Got me homie did not stop. So this is the uh, St. Pete Clearwater softball fields where we go to all the time, Eddie Seymour. Where Emily has grown up playing softball. A 
right here. All right, we're still catching that edge here. We're trying to catch this edge. It's just getting into Madeira Beach right now, and it looks like a pretty hefty little sell-on in Madeira Beach right now, actually. I don't know why that Jeep's riding my tail. I got somebody riding my tail here, like inches behind me. So Madeira Beach getting a really hefty looking sell right now, big time. Coming into Bay Pines, Seminole, Largo's getting it right now. Front front edge of this thing has not made it to St. Pete yet. It's getting close. All right, so here's the uh, Bay Side Bridge. Might be a stalker. I had to get over it because I'm afraid he's going to rear me if I have to stop quick. Couple, um, oh, maybe like a year ago, we were on 275, and there was a guy driving crazy like that behind me, and everybody was starting to stop. So I got over really quick because I didn't trust him. And guess what? He hit the car in front of him, which would have been me. Like, the guy was completely lost. Uh, we're going to try hard to get through all this here. You can't even see anything right now across the bay. It's dark. Cool camera, though. So, one thing I've had over the years was a uh, issue with glare on my windshield. So, I reconfigured everything. And I can't wait to try it at night. Um, had a lot of glare back in... Uh, back in the day so so far so good and i've reattached a couple things so it's very firm and it's a very good wide angle which um really looks good i think shelly i do not have to snorkel yet <laughs> Oh, it's getting dark now. Look at look at that. You can kind of see it in the screen. And we're getting into storm season. So, I mean, you know, the truck is, like, ready to to do this. Like, you know I'll be out there in every hurricane this, this season. I got new tires. Got my Starlink. 5G router, 4G router. Ham radio. I'm trying to know scan it right now. Let's scan it. Yeah, it's scanning. <laughs> gotta see the oh yeah you gotta see the edge right there. See it? A little bit of edge. Get a little break here and uh maybe maybe get out ahead of this thing. Maybe 275 is probably going to be stopping to a traffic car on this old Western right now. One of these days, all this new interstate system is going to be uh, working. How's the outside? Hey, Shelly, can you hear the outside? I increased the uh, decibel on the outside mic. I got a magnetic mic, mic that uh, 
that sits up on the roof. One thing cool about this camera too, man, it wide angles straight up. So, I mean, you're literally looking like right above the truck. It's a really good camera. Oh, and I got new, oh, I got new windshield wipers. I was sitting here thinking for the last time we did this, then I'm getting the truck ready for the season, obviously. And, uh, I'm, I, I got home and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, uh, I did not get windshield wipers, and I'm then I'm thinking, why why aren't they squeaking? Well, I forgot I got new windshield wipers. So, you got new windshield wipers. No more squeaking. They were annoying, uh, and they haven't blown off yet. <laughs> At least I put them on right. Whoa, that was a weird angle. Um, All right, so we are going to attempt to jump on 275 here, go south. I guess the fastest way might be it's always 275, I guess. I don't know. Or Calmerton. Oh, buddy, don't turn in front of me. Oh, we got a truck coming across. I give him, I give him my high beams so he knows. I'm a nice guy. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take a chance on. Oh, I don't know if I can make that or not. Once they start moving, I'll make it. I don't know if I can make that or not. Yeah, I think I can make it. Oh, God. I'm going to take my mirror off. No, I made it. I, I really did that because I don't want anybody uh, stopping in the middle of the lanes back there. That's not very safe. All right, let me make this chat smaller. Let's see what it looks like. If I can make this screen smaller. Yes. Cool. You can hear a little rain pinging. Let me let me turn it up a little bit more. We're at two hundred percent. Let me see if I can go to like. It's so cool. I didn't know I had this. Uh, let's go to three hundred percent. So it's like a, bo a booster. There we go. All right, let's see if that works. Um, I need another monitor. Oh, you know what? I can put it right here. Oh, I love it. I love it. I can put it right there, maybe. No? No, not yet. All right, I'll worry about it later. Well, at least we don't have any squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky. Oh, man. Couldn't have made that one. If you if you're in the middle of an intersection in Florida and it turns red, you're okay. But that was too close for comfort. So we'll just have to ride it out. Bummer. Um, how can I make this smaller? Let's see here. Let's be able to do this here. I'm trying to get my That actually might be the way to go right here, actually. You know what? I'm going to move the, this to here. And that there. Put the OSB over here. Oh, man, what's... All right, there's OSB there. It's pretty cool. And this here. All right, well, let's see what, you can hear the truck engine. Well, I know, I need mufflers.
So if I didn't have our little daily brew this morning and a call in on our quick radio thing and the Tom and Dad show, probably would have drove north last night on no sleep. I'm glad I didn't because I would have uh, been regretting it today. Look at that radar. We still got a line of storms uh, still off the coast of St. Pete Beach here, Terra Verde. I'm close. I need to get over on 275. Hopefully the traffic's not too bad. Actually, I, I got like Google Maps. I guess we can look at it. I didn't think about that. Let's do Skyway Bridge. 19 mile. Let's see what the old traffic says here. So it's 30 minutes. Ah. Well, it should be here in the rain pretty good now. I, I see the uh, rain bar. Now, this is supposed to be a wireproof microphone. Well, we'll get a green light sooner or later. A lot of people walk on this intersection, 49th Street. I'm sure you heard that. Thought about taking a new Tesla truck out today, but no. <laughs> that was April Fools. Can you imagine once this overpass is all connected to the Bayside, how nice it's going to be? We have a clear shot. All what are these people doing a U-turn for? That ain't legal. There's no way they had a green. Well, they have a blinky yellow. I can't believe it. Was legal. All right, we're on the front edge. All right, we're going to jump on 275. We're going to head south, hopefully get ahead of this thing. Going to try. This hope the 275 isn't that bad. So it says Skyway's 21 minutes from here. We've got people stopping. Uh-oh. What's going on here, people? Twenty-one minutes, so it's not too bad. I figured I figured out a the best way to, to solve the Interstate Four dilemma with traffic, and that would be have a no brake usage. I just wonder if traffic flowed and nobody hit the brakes, would it would traffic um, flow better? <laughs> I don't know. We've hit every red light. I have much luck. This is a bad intersection right here because everybody, um, the lane ends and everybody um, has to get over. Instead of uh, through, through lane, they make everybody turn there. So they all have to merge over and then the lane opens up again. So I don't know. One time they must have had it and they figured it was better to make everybody merge back over and then they have to come back over again.
Well, so far, 275 is good. Can't believe it. Three o'clock, maybe that's why. Another red light, imagine that. I mean, really, like every every red light. I mean, who, who can deal with this all the time? Like, you, you, you go to a red light, you stop five minutes, you go a little bit, then you got another red light for five minutes. Then you, that's just so ridiculous. Oh, we're getting, uh, getting a little, um, little ham radio action. So I got them all programmed now. Location. So I have all the uh... all right, here we go. We might have a chance. We might be able to break through here and go south here and uh, get ahead of this line, maybe, maybe, if there's no traffic, we'll be good, maybe make it down to the Skyway right when it's coming, wouldn't that be an awesome picture, make it right to the Skyway right when it's happening, I seriously doubt 275 is going to be free of traffic, I just don't see it possibly, I don't see how, <laughs> There's just no way we're going to have no stop and go. But according to our Google here, we might have clear roads ahead. It says 18 minutes at Skyway Bridge. We have a new express lane that's going to fix and open up really soon here. This ought to really help get by this uh, interchange here that's always a mess. Open it up really soon, actually. Seems like we always get bogged down here a lot. Ah. All right, so let's head down past the Ray Stadium here and uh, get out ahead of this thing. The coolest thing is if we get ahead of this thing, uh, seeing the, the temperature climb back up again, because currently it's 68 degrees. Uh, And it was about 80 degrees right before the line came through. A little, a little back up here, but this isn't showing up too bad. This is the interchange or somebody coming on the off ramp, on ramp. Couldn't be too bad. God, I would have loved to have been in the Skyway here at about 10 minutes here. All right, so we're good green to go. 15 minutes in Skyway. We are so close. So close. Strong winds out ahead of this thing. You know, they might close the damn Skyway. They, they, you know what? There's a good, good chance we might get the Skyway Bridge shut down for a few minutes. I would almost bet. This might not be a good move to come to the Skyway right now.
the beginning of work traffic. This is how it all starts. Chain reaction of brakes. Boom, 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 boom. I can complain about traffic because I'm a Florida native and uh, I remember not too many years ago that we did not have traffic like this. I see that sign says Skyway Bridge in 11 miles or 11 minutes. Can you read it from here? And that camera is so weird. It's like it picks it up. It makes it look like it's so far away, but it's actually it was right there. Well, anyway, we're getting close to that line. So, hey, I got I got uh, good uh, hopes here that we got uh, 10, 10 minutes of clean traffic. Maybe I'll go to the Rays game while I'm down here. Are they playing Texas? We won yesterday. Oh, it's 1 o'clock today. They're playing right now. I should be listening to it. Well, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah, the Rays are on right now. What's the Rays doing? Anybody tell me? I better... I, this is how bad copyright stuff is, though. If I film the rays, then um, it would give me for rebroadcast, and we can't do that. So, and I think I heard like the official return of snowbirds is like this week after Easter. That's what I heard. Which would be phenomenal. <laughs> oh, we got blinker people driving now. It's hard to feel a little bit of them winds. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the look at the water blow here. Inching ever so close. I feel I feel good. I feel like we have a chance. Things are getting dark ahead of me. That indicates the line is right there. Now, my opinion is if you're from Ohio, you should watch the weather and maybe not drive if you don't have to. If you're worried about rain, but nobody watches the weather. <laughs> All right, so we're down St. Pete now, we're driving by the the Tropicana Field. Been there a bazillion times over the years. We uh, love to tailgate. Today, actually, you know, uh, well, it came in a little later. I guess we could have tailgated, maybe. I don't know. Julie had a dinner thing anyways. But I was thinking selfishly. Anyway, so. But I love going early and uh Tailgates. All right, we're kind of driving in, into the big line now, which is kind of cool. I don't really expect any hail or any of this stuff, but forget about going northbound. My God, there ain't no way I'm going to make it home. Not in that mess. That's probably not a good smart move to go out in work traffic. All right, so we're only a few minutes from uh, making that turn and seeing daylight.
showing it hasn't got over Skyway yet, which is amazing. And we were so close to it. I just love that contrast line from my, um, oh, these squall lines when they finally pass. And you see the uh, break from the front edge. Apparently, I talked about this in the live, but apparently it is legal to uh, drive with your flashers on in Florida. I didn't think it was legal, but somebody corrected me, and I actually think I Googled it. I can't remember. Maybe I did. I don't know if I Googled it or not, but I think you're allowed. I didn't. I could have swore that you're not allowed, but I am not a traffic school, so don't listen to me. Anybody over there in the uh, MWP chat? Shelly, the cool thing about it is when I go when I do stream, I can open up my MWP chat and uh, it pops up really nice on the phone and text stuff, so I can uh, communicate a little better over there if I have to. I can't read uh, any other chats while I'm driving. But when I get a text, I can. All right, here we go. Four miles. High wind warning. It is not closed. <laughs> Who wants to go over to Skyway with me when it's high wind warning? I've drove over the bridges in Louisiana in a hurricane. I think we can do this. Maybe. One thing I've learned too, I have more rail. Well, maybe a little. So, according to this, like. We should be like breaking out of this thing here, maybe enough that I might be able to get some good video of this thing approaching the south part of the Skyway. Possibly. Kind of overcast right now. It's not really uh, easy to see anything right now. I'm just Tell you what, though, there's some big winds still attached to this thing coming down to Bradenton and uh, Palmetto area pretty soon. Nobody's out on the water. That wouldn't have been too good. Yeah, I don't like this uh, this setup here. I might have to move it. I tried to. Like I said, it's all test. Oh, hey, Shelly. All right, I got you. All right, so here we are. This is the first little bridge over the Skyway. I can't believe everybody's driving over a high wind warning right now over the bridge. Either my radar hasn't updated or we're still going to see the edge of this thing here pretty soon. But if anything, you get to take a ride over the Skyway. I 
I've uh, made my childhood memories growing up over the Skyway. The original, the original Skyway Bridge. I remember. I remember driving over the span that was still upright looking over at the one that was hit back in 1980 that was kind of scary especially when you're driving on two lane traffic on the one span that they left open it was a very narrow bridge and you had that metal grate sound you know like um just and you can see down that was <laughs> that was wild you could see like literally through the grates of the uh, bridge okay weird <laughs> it was very narrow and then when they had to make it go two-way it was really wild to um have to drive cars coming at you that close oh i just saw a little break over there all right Oh, you kind of see it a little bit. Hope they don't close the bridge on us. High wind warning. I'm surprised they didn't close the bridge. I know they got a uh, 40. I don't know what the speed is, but. Temperature is still um, 67.6 here. We're going to see if this temperature increases. I love watching the temperature change so quick when we drive through the other side of a frontal line like this. So that that literally is um, radar on my truck. We got a new missile scale discussion, and it looks like for where I'm at. I don't like this new setup, though. We're on the bridge for sure. Oh, we'll get a new missile skill discussion. Isolated threat, short term. All right, so we have a little missile skill now south of Interstate 4 as the line pushes on. All right, we're getting on the bridge. Maybe. We're going to drive on the back side of these big... There's probably 40-plus mile-an-hour winds gusts right now. I guarantee there's some white knuckles. 